This skill looks really interesting to me in Clayber. I'm thinking I might want to try this. What is my base concealment? 8-6. That's not awful. Uh, gun Traverse, probably worthwhile. Yes. Yes. Let's take Turret Traverse. Tier 9 non-premium. Ice Pick. Fletcher. Easy answer. Easy. <laughs> Last Stand. Survivability. And I'm thinking, do I want Concealment? 7-8. If I take Fearless Brawler, 8-2. If I ditch Concealment, 9-1. Hmm. 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 Think so, Alzu? You think so? 8-2 doesn't feel unreasonable for this ship. I'm not going to lie. That feels more than reasonable. Um. I really want to try this skill. I really want to try this skill on Clay Bear. So that leaves me three points. Adrenaline Rush? Adrenaline Rush. Yeah, Adrenaline Rush. Totally. All right, Sully. Thanks for dropping in, buddy. Good to see you. Um, Yeah, I'm down a point. Uh, let's leave it there for now. That's a 17-point build. Um, and I really want to try this brawling skill. Yeah, I agree with you. Torping and then... Because the torpedoes are 9 kilometers, 8 kilometers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking this, yeah. All right, we'll see how it goes. We'll just see how it goes. All right, let's go back to let's go back to port. Have a quick check. Do to do, do. Yes. Reload probably. Yes. What's my range? Thirteen. Hmm. I don't think I want more range though. That'll be. Yep. 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 This is all fine. Seventeen ninety one. I turned forty three on Monday. Oh, I don't have flags off. Let's fix that. Flags. 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 Speed. We want speed. Give me the speed. Uh, let's see. Let's put on a better camo. Yes. Please. Thank you. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. This guy's worth investing some, fan some fancier flags in. Help grind him up a little faster. It's fine. No, 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 no. You know, I turned 43 on Monday. Four, three. Alzu, because I took the brawler skill. Because I took this. That's why. That's why the concealment is 8-2. I'm, I'm determined to try this brawler skill. If it's crap, I'll get rid of it. But I'm determined to try it. Let's try Kleber. Uh, well, thanks, Masada, I guess. <laughs> 38 battleships, three destroyers. What are the odds that every battleship in the queue has Deadeye? Who give me odds? Who give me odds? <laughs> uh, too funny. Hmm. All right. Let's see what matchmaking hell. Let's see what matchmaking deals us. Hopefully no carrier. Son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, it's Brujo. I know that guy. All right, what else? Anybody on our team we recognize? No. Nope. Okay. How many radars? Moscow for sure. Possibly the Minnow. Possibly the minnow. Okay. Three thunderers. Mmm, thunderers. So amazing. So tired of that ship. Will dead eye cure Roma? I'm going to go with probably not, but I don't feel like Roma needs curing. You know what? Just for that, I'm going to go play Roma after this game's over. <laughs> Why? Because Roma's awesome. Roma does not need your help or your pity, sir. I go where I please. But I might try it. I please where I go. I mean, I think Roma's fine like she is. I don't think she needs really anything. Just, you know, don't don't show your broadside to somebody. Like, that ends badly. I have a video somewhere on my YouTube channel where I take like a 40,000 point salvo in my Roma because I turned broadside to North Carolina. He almost dev struck me. It was bad. <laughs> it's like, oh, crap. Where did that come from? Must sneak behind enemy lines to get close to all their battleships so dead eyes stop working and they freak out. I might actually I might actually accept that challenge this game. 
I might actually accept that challenge this game. Now, I will say that Edge in a Kleber versus a Midway, that's probably a death sentence. <laughs> but it might be fun. So Teacup, they fixed Atlanta. Atlanta with the, the Atlanta's base range has now been maxed out to 13.3. So honestly, I think Atlanta's probably fine. I will not play Flint. I think they've broken Flint and she's not worth it. Um, so pass, pass. Um, but Atlanta should be fine. I have not played her since the rework. Um, I might try and do some of that this weekend, but they fixed her range at least. So she, she at least should be more than fine. Holland's up north, dead center. Not sure where the Haru is. That's correct, Talon. 11.1 kilometer range on your tier 7 light cruiser that will see tier 9 opponents with radar longer than she can shoot back at. Brilliant design. Brilliant. Hi, Haru. Oh, this Haru's going to hate me. He's absolutely going to hate me. Look at where I am. Look at where he's turning in to hide and look at where I am. I'm not sorry. I'm not remotely sorry. Chicks. Ah, much better. Well, I only put 20k into that guy. He'll notice. I'm gonna kill you old style. He noticed. Who's your daddy now? Sometimes I even amaze myself. Run back here and share, share some AA with the Venezia. Hmm. Can't leave my ride behind. You got lucky. Really? It is a radar minnow. I'm going to feel that one in the morning. I wonder where the radar was coming uh, from. Now I know. Better. He's gonna have a hard. I've got some friends now. He's gonna have fun because I'm sitting inside the A bubble of a Des Moines and a Venezia. So enjoy. No, I don't think so, Edge. I didn't have an angle. If I'd had a better angle on the minnow, I would have absolutely done it to to um, to AP him to death. But without it, it's not worth it. All right, we have a ship lead. We have a three ship lead. I'm a little surprised by that, honestly. This carrier's been so busy focusing me. He's because I'm on the opposite. So here's here's where I feel like their carrier's making a mistake. 
He's singled me out. But I'm on the other side of the map from a dude. From this dude, right? I'm going to do something that no sane destroyer player should do. I'm considering brawling with a Minotaur. Now, he cannot get torpedoes on me from the angle he has right now. That is not a thing that can that can occur. Oh, and it got such good gas mileage. Pretty much, Duke. <laughs> oh, hell, this is fun. <laughs> now, do I want to go out there where the Thunderer is? Let's at least go sneak behind this island where I can possibly cap. No, let's not. Let's not go out there. If I go out there, that's going to be bad. Let's, let's reverse and head south. Let's reverse and head south. If I go out there, I'm going to get focused by like three different ships. That is not going to end well. Now, what I'm tempted to do is run north. But if I isolate myself, the Midway has already proven that he wants to come kill me. Like, we have a five-ship lead. I kind of want to derp. I kind of want to do some derpy things. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think? That's an appropriate song. Keep moving. Yep. You're, that's, that's, a, that's a good song for this moment. And chicken's like YOLO time. I'm not sure YOLO is what I would say, but like, like, go up and, you know, start pew pewing and farming people. I'm thinking the Holland is in there. Really? Okay. Look at that. We have a six ship lead. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm lit by the Holland. Can't leave my ride behind. It's interesting. I'm going to let him have the cap. I literally don't care. We have a mat. We have a huge firepower lead. Let's do something. Let's do something derpy and jerky. Mm. That thunderer looks like I might be able to sneak torps on him if I drive this right. Let's give it a shot. You know, Weeb, this ship. What I love about this ship is even like she's just fun to drive. This ship is just legitimately fun to drive. In almost any circumstance you can think of, this ship is fun to play. I will say I wish I knew if Brujo's guns were looking at me. Hey, buddy. What's up? Are you sure about that? Damn. Desert road, no gas, and no chicks. Ah, much better. I'm gonna feel that one in the morning. Oh, there's a thunder over here. How'd that guy come from? I even come from oh well we killed their carrier i don't care this was fun <laughs> this was fun <laughs> alt shift backspace what is that i don't even know what you i don't even know what that does <laughs> threatened his dead eye well i mean his team's doing a pretty good job of throwing away their dead eye already because they're basically all dead like they put the dead in dead eye let's put it this way when you play this passively you absolutely put the dead in dead eye. Our victory is in sight. 
That was fun. I'm not convinced this is the best Clay Bear build by any stretch, but it was it's fun to play. Um Let's see, the Brawly skill, what it, it costs me, I get a I get main battery reloaded when I'm spotted. So my main battery reload goes from I get like a half a second or a, like a six tenths of a second main battery reload speed. That's pretty nice. That's really nice. Cause this ship runs around a lot in pew pews, right? I mean, I feel like the, like this ship and a Habitarovsk are made for those little brawler skills, I feel like. What sites? This is crosshair number 10 out of the base game. Johnny, thank you for the follow. But this is this is uh, crosshair number 10 in the base in the base pack. You go in here, you go to settings, and you go to uh, controls, I think, right? And select crosshair, and this is cross I use static number 10. I don't like the dynamic crosshair. That's a personal choice. I learned to aim on the static crosshair five five and a half years ago, so I'm just used to it. It's just it's what I know. So I've just stuck with it. This Holland is dead. It's going out. There he goes. Apparently we out thundered the Thunderers. That feels nice. Oh, I gotta give this Des Moines. This guy, this guy in the Venet, this guy gets a this guy gets a prop. No, not that. That. He gets one of these. And uh not you. Uh where's that Venezia? Yeah. You guys, you guys bailed me out a couple of times. So what I was getting to though was the um earlier when I was talking about it, the the midway, I feel like, you know, I'm on the nine line. The midway at the time was on the two or the three line. It takes him forever to bring his planes over to hunt me. He's wasting time that he doesn't have to come after, honestly, what's kind of a target of questionable value just because he thinks I'm a free kill. To me, that's that's inexperienced carrier play. I, I don't even know that I'd call it bad carrier play. It's, it's good in the sense that you're able to identify a target that is vulnerable to your what you can do. That's good. But when you have to be your board position and your team positioning has to be such that you can afford to waste the time to send planes all the way across the map to come after me. And I don't feel like he could. We were that My team was rolling up the, the three line in his face and he's sending planes over to try and kill me. That's that's bad target selection when you're a carrier. Stalin had a good game. Take one of these and get out of here. I mean, it could be Soul Strike. I mean, it's possible. Um, but at the same time, as the carrier player, you have to be able to resist that kind of pressure to say, fellas, I can kill him, but it will take me eight minutes. And it's a waste of time to focus one dinky destroyer for eight minutes. This is this is the thing anytime. Anytime people start ragging about, uh, ragging on and on about uh, French destroyers and how vulnerable they are to carriers. And I'm going to say this about the new German line as well. It's a question of, does the carrier want to invest the time to kill you? It's not as simple as, oh, one pass and you're dead. If the destroyer player positions himself correctly, it's still a 1v1 engagement. And if you do that, if you set yourself up to engage, to engage him in that way, it's going to take him a long time to kill you. So it's just not worth it, right? It's just not worth it's not worth the investment in time. And I think a lot of carrier players over underestimate how much time it takes to solo a destroyer like that. 